I am was born in Pahaska, but grew up in Tulsa. My Cherokee grandmother gave me a treadle machine when I was 11, and I learned to sew. Well, Grandma always sewed, and my mother always sewed our clothes. So it was just a natural, you know, you do what you grow up around. I uh, learned to sew. And then about that time, beads got real popular. I would save my little monies and go to the TGNY and buy beads and come home and string beads. And always loved doing with my hands, just like mom and grandma. So, my name is Carolyn Pallet. I am a Cherokee Nation beadwork artist. I just did little little projects, little necklaces and earrings and things for the longest time. Um, of course, then had a couple of careers and always wanted to do an art. When I did retire from the second career I had was pharmacy. I was a pharmacist for a while. I was kind of searching, took an online art appreciation class and was doing a little paper on art history. It was art history. And I thought, I know a historic piece that's been in my family. This little piece of beadwork was always in the cedar chest and every time it, mom managed to get it out, I, you know, had to look at it. I don't know if she ever let us hold it, but the beginning of my work was with Martha Berry, Cherokee National Treasure, who was offering a workshop that uh, summer of 2012. But I finally made full circle. I rediscovered working with my hands and creating. I was awarded grand prize for this year's uh, Cherokee Nation Homecoming art show and sale for my bandolier bag, Southeasternly Shine. I like to combine different types of beads, metallic and just opaque, different sizes to add texture and shine. And some things I include are really only visible if you're looking, the more you look at a piece. It's a double spiral on the flap. Just a lot of traveling angles throughout the piece. The strap itself travels up the right side and back down to the counterclockwise. In the day of the award ceremony, I said, you know, I think it's time to check on that. And I asked my husband, I said, does that say what I think it says? And he just laughed. He said, well, sure. Proud of you, honey. He's always been supportive. I am still in awe. I just, when I think about it, I think, oh my goodness. It's wonderful to be recognized. I, uh, I just want people to be able to see the work. And the ribbons and awards are, are really nice and really generous. But I, I'm still... Every time I, I look uh, at the, you know, the award and the, the honor, I'm just sort of not believing that's really mine or for me. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing right now. It gives me a lot to show for my time. I've always been the kind of, of project doer that I wanted to get the project done over a weekend or has see immediate results. But for some reason, these the bags turn into uh, a friend, somebody, I, something I can come and visit and work with a couple hours every day. Uh, the longer it takes, the better. <laughs> and I have really developed a passion that's I found my thing I'm pretty good at so uh, finally found something I'm good at <laughs>